Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Joseph here for a Tuesday night video right here on the Peter Joseph YouTube Wrestling Channel. YouTube.com slash Peter Joseph. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Unsubscribe right now to this very channel and my other channels down there in the description box. Otherwise known as hell. So do it now. Subscribe to my channels all down below in the description box. Uh... Leave a comment on the video if you wish. You don't have to, but if you want to, please be respectful. If not, you're out of here. You're going to get sent to the shadow realm where Satan will eat your soul. And you're going to get blocked. If you don't like that, then cry to your mama, bitch. And that's it. Cry me a river because I ain't helping you out. So, fuck you. And uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Share the video all over the internet. And don't forget to tap and slap that goddamn bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video because if you miss anything, you need to get slapped in the face because you are S-O-L and you know what that means and if you don't know, look it up, bitch. That's it. You missed it. You missed it. And you failed. And that's all I gotta say about, about that. And if you're brand new here, you're coming to my channel for the very first time and you like what you see, please hit that like button and then hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button as well. And don't forget to hit the bell. And when you do, we welcome you to the party, pal. We hope you enjoy the ride. Sit back, relax, put your feet up. You grab a, you grab that cold one like this one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And like I said, if you like it, great. Hit that like button. If you don't like it, well, go fuck yourself. Get out of here. Go on somebody else's channel. Or just go back on your own dead channel with 12 subs. But it is what it is. You don't like it? Too fucking bad. But you watched it anyway, so thank you for the free view. And that's uh, pretty much it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I had a... <coughs> excuse me, I had a cough. Anyway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday night. You know what that means. We've got NXT... On the CW11 for the uh, third week, uh, fourth week in a row. Actually, this is almost a month, uh, almost a month into uh, into uh, the CW11 uh, on uh, NXT on CW11. Excuse me. So back at you tonight. Back at you uh, tonight on the CW11, the Go Home Show before this Sunday night. Yes, Sunday night. Uh, next NXT pay per view Halloween. Havoc, which comes your way from Hershey, Pennsylvania, the land of chocolate. And uh, it's probably going to be one of the most scariest nights of the year, because it's close to Halloween. So, we got Halloween Havoc 2024 this Sunday night on your local cable provider, or the GAC, or whatever you watch it from. On YouTube, or Bleach Report, wherever you want to watch it from. But should be a good pay per view, and um, tonight should be um, exciting. We got uh, Stephanie Fakur and Julia teaming up for, I believe, the first time to take on two members of Fatal Influence. We're, we don't know which ones yet. It could be Fallon, don't call me to the dawn. Henley could be my girl, J uh, my girl Jasmine Nix or JC Jane. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, that is ahead of uh, Stephanie and Julia taking on Cora Jade and. Roxy at Halloween Havoc in a tag team match player. Also, we got Oba, who, Femi, taking on the resident consigliere, the man who lives downstairs from you. That's Luca Crucifino. We'll see what happens with that. You know, Oba and my cousin Tony D rematch uh, in a rematch from uh, the last the last show from the CW11 uh, day, but. Uh, going at it and for the North American title once again. But this time, it is a tables, ladders, and scares match. Oh my. So basically anything goes. Like tables will be used. Ladders will be used. Anything underneath the, underneath the ring will be used. And the kitchen sink. So see what happens with that. And also we'll have more with Trick Whitney and Ethan Page ahead of there. Uh... Devil's Playground match. Another hardcore match. So, for the NXT title. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, and a whole lot more 
tonight on NXT on the CW11. Coming up at the top of the hour. But we got that. And uh, we're a couple weeks away from the date. But NXT is going back on the road November the 6th in Philadelphia at the legendary bingo hall known as the ECW Arena. We're gonna be, that's going to be a huge show. Uh, they're thinking about trying to get the wise man, my name is Paul Heyman, there, as well as the goat of all goats of the modern era. That's the Undertaker. So, we'll see what happens with that. Going head to head with AEW that night. I think we all know who's going to win that, but uh, NXT, of course. But we'll see what happens with that. So, all in all, should be a good show tonight for NXT. And we'll talk about that maybe later tonight. And also, you know, lots of news coming out of, of uh, WWE with uh, Samantha Irvin leaving like, leaving yesterday. Shockingly, she's uh, she wants to pursue her music career. Possibly going to AEW to be near Ricochet more often. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, and then it was announced that Lillian Garcia, who is now who now replaced uh, Samantha, is now back full time. She is fifty eight years old, so she's back. I don't know how long her contract is, but she's back. I couldn't be more happier. I mean, I, I feel bad that Samantha's gone because we're not going to hear Chelsea Green anymore. But I don't think uh, Lillian Garcia has a prayer to say that, but well, it's good to have Lillian back. It feels like the Attitude Era all over again. Without Vince this time, though. But we'll see what happens with that. And a whole lot more next week on Raw. And moving forward on pay-per-views as well, where we get to Crown Jewel and everything else. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we got that. All right, but today, ladies and gentlemen, got some, got some interesting news. Now, we talked about this earlier, this a uh, couple months ago, actually, uh, with these two lovely people, uh, get together. They're not together. Conan says they're not together. We don't know what to believe. We're trying to find out from the sources. We can't really find out anything. But but today it is announced is it was announced that sad news, ladies and gentlemen. My good friend and you are sitting with me now, Adam Cole, baby, and his well ex now ex fiance, Doctor Britt Baker, D M D. I can't say baby anymore, DMD, have now officially split up. They're not a couple anymore. They're not a romantic couple anymore. So, the rumors were kind of true. They just took Adam Cole to go on uh, an interview on Sports Illustrated and uh, basically address the elephant in the room since Adam Cole came back a couple weeks ago at Wrestle Dream. And we're like, hey, is Brit, is, is, what's going on with you and Brit? Now he told us. Now him and uh, Brit are no more. So anyway, let me read the story from SI.com. So anyway, so Adam Cole addressed the elephant in the room, basically. And he says that me and Brit have indeed split up. We are no longer a couple. But when I say that we both still love each other and are still friends and still so supportive of each other... That could not be more true. So, they broke up, but they're still friends. So, that's a good thing. You don't want to break up, and then you're like, you like, you break up, you're like, ah, you know, I, wanna, I don't want to deal with you for the next ten years, and shit like that, you know. You know, all relationships should be like that. I mean, if you break up, and it's just an amicable split, you just break up for the sake of breaking up, or, you know, just don't want to be with each other anymore... You just want to go your separate ways, but we're going to still be friends. We can see each other on a friendly basis. I mean, that's good and all, but, you know, you're still going to have feelings for each other when you go out and everything. I mean, it is what it is. It hurts, you know, it hurts. I, I know Adam is probably gutted right now, you know, because uh, him and Britt have been together for, I don't know how long they've been together, but I, I know it's been a long time. 
They got they got uh, engaged about a year a couple years ago. I thought they were gonna be married by now. Maybe start having you know Adam Cole babies. You know babies basically. But um, sadly, that will not happen. And even though you know both uh, Adam Cole is like around the mid thirties, Britt's around her twenties, early thirties. So I hope they find happiness. But you know it is what it is. Uh, anyway, Cole and uh, Britt had grown into AEW's power couple after Adam joined the company in the fall of 2021. Uh, there were both central figures in, eight, in that horrible Access backstage show. That was horrible. Uh, which basically aired, aired primarily in April of last year on CBS. They were dual winners of the, it, the first annual Owen Hart Foundation tournament. They won the belt. They won the belt. So I think they won a trophy. Uh, that was that. Um, what happened between them, basically, is none of our fucking business, but, you know, this, you know, not, I don't even think we should even ask them, it's just their business, I, you know, people are saying that one of them cheated on each other, I think it's Brett, I, I have a, I don't have a, I don't even think it's, it's Adam Cole, I think it's Britt Baker, I think she's been, you know, slipping up, slipping under the covers with Tony Schiavone, how many times have we seen Pictures of, her, of them on her Twitter page, on her Instagram, with her and Tony. You know something was happening. They could be good friends, my ass. My ass. They're freaking, they're freaking talking to each other. They're at restaurants with each other. Even as good friends, you know, something, something happened. If I was Adam Cole, I would have went on cheaters and said, hey, you know, let's cheat, let's Let's secretly see what's going on with Britt, you know? Next thing we know, Britt's, Britt's going to Tony Giovanni's house to suck his old cock and everything. Who knows? But but it is, it is what it is. Maybe it didn't work out. Maybe, you know, it, you know their schedules con- conflicted. They both lived in Florida. And then we heard that Adam Cole was moving back to Pennsylvania. Even though Britt is from Pittsburgh. So we're all thinking that. Adam was moving to Pittsburgh to be, you know, to be with Britt. Britt still has her uh, dentist building in Florida, still there. Um, I thought that Britt was going to, like, say, you know, get rid of it and go to, back to Pittsburgh, where she actually is from, and then we're going to live a nice, happy life. But Adam Cole moved by himself all the way, I don't know where in Pennsylvania, where his family lives. And his twin brother, B Fresh, by the way, I always thought B Fresh was uh, was a uh, Tyler Breeze. It's not him. But any in any case, so so he moved all the way to all back. Excuse me. He moved to Pennsylvania to be near his family. He got a nice fucking house, by the way. He, if you see his Twitch channel, yeah, his house is like massive. Where he where he where he I think I don't know if it's upstairs or downstairs where he games, but it looks pretty damn nice. I love to visit that house one day, but just to tour the house, I'm like, not going to stay there or anything, but, you know, whatever, but in any case, you know, sometimes it, it just doesn't work out, you know, they were together for seven years, so they met in 2017, I assume, through mutual friends, because Adam was in Ring of Honor, this was right be- I think it was right before he even went to NXT, so... They met, they met there, they started dating, and then pretty much, they were, you know, you didn't see them much together, maybe in, in on their Instagrams and, and on their Instagram pages and Twitter pages, uh, and then when Adam Cole started his uh, Twitch channel, The Chugs, uh, rarely you would see Brett, you know, show up on his uh, tw- legendary Twitch, ch- Twitch streams and everything, but... You know, because they lived with each other down... I think they lived with each other down in Florida, so... She was there most of the time. You know, and they looked like a happy couple. You know, the pictures of them together at various functions and stuff like that. You know, dressed up to the T and everything. Looked great. I was like, yeah, they're, they're gonna get married. They're gonna have babies and everything. There is gonna be hunky-dory. And then, like I said, seven years with somebody and just... It ends. It's, it's the way it is. You know, they deeply care for each other, but, you know, maybe they just want to be, they want to be apart for a while. I don't know. 
Uh, Adam continues uh, in the story, I think the world of Brit, I want her to be as happy and successful as humanly possible, and I know she feels the exact same way about me. We did decide to go our separate ways, but that doesn't mean that she will not be an incredibly important part of my life. Brit is absolutely one of my best friends. She's someone that I love dearly and will always love dearly, and there is no ill will between me and her whatsoever. Uh, during the summer where he, uh, when he was rehabbing his torn ankle, just, just we all remember that, uh, Cole told his uh, streamers on Twitch that he was in the middle of moving back to his home state of Pennsylvania, like I mentioned, did it by himself. Uh, that kicked off rumors that they broke up, that Britt might, they might, uh, Britt might be moving with Adam back to Pennsylvania where she lives. So there was so much stuff going on. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Adam continues, I don't want anyone to ever think that me and Britt dislike each other. I think it is possible in situations for people who are in relationships to kind of go their separate ways, but still care about one another. The last thing I would want is fans to pick sides or anything like that. So, I don't think anybody should, uh, should pick a side of what happened between, uh, Britt and Adam. Like I said, I'm not choosing a side. I'm... I just think the reason why they split up, I think Britt cheated on Adam. I heavily doubt Adam cheated on Britt with somebody else. Or they just said, you know what? The schedule is just too much. We, you know, we can't be too far away. Maybe Britt wanted to stay in Florida. Adam wanted to stay near his parents in, uh, in Pennsylvania. I don't know the full situation. Uh, the full interview with Adam will drop tomorrow morning, which is the 23rd, on the takedown on the uh, Sports Illustrated YouTube channel, so go check that out. And that's uh, pretty much all I got to say about that. So, leave me your thoughts and predictions about Adam Cole Bebe and Britt Baker officially breaking up. It's a sad situation, you know, being together for seven years, but at least it was an amicable split. Uh, I can't even say it. Amicable split. They're, they're, gonna be, they're still friends, they love each other, they support each other. That's what matters the most. And that's uh, pretty much it. I know I've been with the ball and chain for 16 years. We've been away from each other when, you know, I, would, I had work and, you know, she, she would go on a little vacation. You know, I couldn't go because I didn't have any, uh, any off time. I didn't have any uh, vacation time. At the moment, because I had very little at the time. I had to accrue my vacation time. And we usually took off vacations in the summer anyway. So. But even if she was away for a little while, we always kept in contact. We always keep in contact. You know, somehow texting and emailing and, and uh, calling and everything like that. But, you know. You know, we did separate for like two weeks, basically. And, uh. After we, uh, you know, we had a little bit of argument, we uh, decided to just to split up for a little bit because it was just getting too toxic. So we split up for a couple weeks, but eventually we came back to each other, and pretty much it's been history from there. But, you know, all relationships don't work out. You know, you will be together for 10, 15, 20 freaking years, and you, you, you're... You have the most amazing sex, and you have, you know, your friends, you have babies, you're married and everything, and then just something just happens where you're like, I don't want to see you anymore, fuck you, you know, that, something like that, but, and then you decide to just break away for a little bit, whether you break up and separate for a little bit, then you wait about a couple of months, not too long, hopefully, and then Eventually, you keep the lines of communication going, and then eventually you say, "Hey, let's 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 talk." Let's just let's just talk and uh, you know, see where see where we go from here. Do you want to stay together, or do you just want to officially break up? So. It is what it is, but I feel bad for Adam. I feel bad for Britt. You know, I hope they find happiness and whatever is next for them. If they want to meet new people and date new uh, date new people, that's up to them. I'm not telling them what to do. 
you know, they're grown adults and they want to find somebody new. And I hope they find happiness. But we'll see what happens with that. So let me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. What do you guys think of Adam Cole and Britt Baker officially breaking up? And that's how pretty much it. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to do a quick Raw review. And then we're going to, get, we're going to go right into NXT. And we'll see what happens with that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, peace.